In journalism, the lead, also spelled lead, is the opening paragraph of a story and is crucial because it sets the tone and captures the reader's attention. Different types of leads are used depending on the story and the writer's purpose. Here are the most common types of leads in journalism. 1. Summary A summary lead is the most common type used in news writing. It provides the most important information right away, answering the who, what, when, where, why, and how, five W's and H in a concise manner. This type of lead is usually straightforward and gives readers a quick understanding of the key facts. Example. The city council voted 6 to 2 last night to approve a new $15 million school building, which will be completed by 2025. It is typically used for breaking news or important events where the main facts need to be quickly delivered. 2. Anecdotal An anecdotal lead starts the story by telling a short, interesting story or personal account that draws the reader in. It focuses on a specific person, moment, or incident that illustrates the broader theme of the article. Example. When Sarah Martinez opened her bakery doors for the first time, she didn't expect a line stretching around the block. But as soon as word got out, people from all over the city came to taste her grandmother's famous cinnamon rolls. This lead works well in feature stories and human interest pieces where the writer wants to create an emotional connection or intrigue the reader. 3. Descriptive A descriptive lead paints a vivid picture of a scene, person, or event. It sets the tone by immersing the reader in a detailed, sensory-rich setting, making them feel like they are part of the story. Example The sun beat down relentlessly on the dusty main street as tumbleweeds drifted by, and the only sound was the creaking of the old saloon door in the wind. This type of lead is common in feature stories or travel writing, where the goal is to engage the reader through imagery and description. 4. Question A question lead begins with a provocative or rhetorical question designed to make the reader curious. It pulls them into the article by making them want to find out the answer. Example. What would you do if you found $1,000 lying on the sidewalk? It's often used in feature stories, opinion pieces, or lifestyle articles to provoke thought or encourage curiosity. However, it should be used sparingly, as it can feel gimmicky if not done well. 5. Quotation A quotation lead starts with a compelling or powerful quote from someone involved in the story. The quote needs to be strong enough to capture attention and relate directly to the main theme of the article. Example. We're not giving up without a fight, said Jane Doe, as she stood before a crowd of supporters at City Hall, vowing to continue her environmental advocacy. It works well in feature stories or profiles, especially when the quote is impactful and helps set the stage for the article. 6. Contrasting lead. A contrasting lead highlights an unexpected contrast or juxtaposition, which surprises or intrigues the reader. It compares two seemingly unrelated things or contrasts two elements to draw attention. Example, in a city where skyscrapers dominate the skyline, one man has chosen to live in a treehouse. This type is often used in feature stories or narrative writing, where the goal is to surprise or challenge the reader's expectations. 7. Delight. A delayed lead teases the reader by withholding key information until later in the story. It builds suspense or curiosity, drawing the reader in with an unfolding narrative before getting to the main point. Example, the young man took a deep breath, adjusted his tie, and stepped onto the stage. Little did he know, the next five minutes would change his life forever. The reader has to continue reading to find out what happened. This type is common in feature stories and narratives where creating suspense is important for engaging the reader. Summary of lead types. Summary lead answers the five W's and H, providing key information quickly. Anecdotal lead starts with a short, interesting story or personal account. Descriptive lead vividly describes a scene, person, or event. Question lead opens with a question to intrigue the reader. Quotation lead begins with a strong or interesting quote. Contrasting lead highlights an unexpected contrast or juxtaposition. Delayed lead builds suspense by delaying key information, each type of lead serves a different purpose, depending on the tone, subject, and style of the article, making it essential for journalists to choose the one that best suits their story.